YouTube, what is going on? I'm back with another video once again, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video. Guys, like, comment, subscribe before this video gets get started, but guys, this is going to be an extremely real talk with you. Like, everything that went down in Indy that you guys were wondering, why, Josh, why, Josh, why, why are you not coming back to Houston? What are you doing? Why are you still in Indy? You know, all that stuff, I'm here to give y'all an answer finally like a true personal like all the above answer bro everything that you guys wanted will be in this video but this is definitely hard for me to say i'm not gonna lie but you guys you know you guys need to know because you know that was that was you guys most frequent question i know i'm here now and it doesn't really matter but like this was your guys most frequent question when i was in indy i'm gonna start off with all the people who are passing away in my family so um all right here we go so there's there was these there was these two there was these two elderly people that were that live right next to uh my mom's house that i was that i was staying in so there was two people that i grew up with you know they were like they were like my they were like my other grandma my second grandma and grandpa so this guy was like a grandpa to me and this guy would always he would always say you know i would always help him out he would always ask you know i would help him with mowing the line help him with doing whatever he has to do in the garden you know anything that he needed i would help with and anything that i needed he would help with let's say i needed something for the yard he would always have he would always have it like he would always have something that i needed that i i needed at the time so, and then uh, his wife, his wife uh, also, same, same thing. So, basically, they both, uh, like a couple months ago, ended up passing because of cancer. I'm not sure what cancer they had, but they ended up both passing because of cancer. And um, that definitely hurt my family because they always looked out for us. Like, they were a, actually a part of our family. So... That really hurt us, and we like knew his grandkids, and you know all that stuff. So like, you know that was definitely tough um, seeing them them uh, pass away, and it was it was like back to back. It was like right after the other. So it like it really just didn't make sense to me. Like the grand like the grandpa like he John his name was John. He passed away first, and then right after that his wife passed away. So it just like. It was it was really crazy for everybody, especially his family. So like prayers to his family once again for all that. The third death, and that would be the last you know the last passing that happened. I'm not gonna say the fourth one because the fourth one is very actually personal, and um, I really don't want to say it on camera. But um, the third one was my uncle Rick, which would be my mom's sister's husband and my uncle obviously. And this is why I wear. I'll get into that, but but he this was my uncle rick and he passed away also because of cancer and this one this one really this one really hurt a lot a lot of our family when he passed away like for one cancer like cancer really sucks honestly like i just can't i just can't pinpoint how this just takes over your body and just eats away and just keeps eating away nonstop at your body until it basically finish like finishes you like it, it kills you and it just doesn't make sense like some people get through it and everything some people beat cancer but like there's so many people dying of cancer and it just does not make sense to me because they always take it, it feels like they take like the the best people out of your out of your life like this guy was he just he was a hard-working person and like he just always wanted to make people laugh like that was always it. it was always a good time with him and it just did not make sense why you know he passed away and like cancer hit him so hard and so quick it just like it didn't make sense to me and i was in fort wayne and he was in indianapolis so it was two hours away so i didn't see him as much and like when i went to go see him like his hair was shaved he had no hair he was bald and then like he barely could walk my mom was helping him with it with with uh like you know everything that he needed and it was just like it just i 
that stuff just doesn't make sense to me and but like he ended up passing away like two three months ago and uh, the funeral was probably one of the one of the most hardest you know things I had to go through like it's just a it was filled of emotions and I just I just wish there was a cure for cancer so everybody would just like no one could you know pass away because of it like I just wish someone could find a cure or if there is a cure already bring it out like what are you waiting for like like this stuff is killing innocent people I just it's just one day you wake up and it's like, oh, you have leukemia. Oh, you have breast cancer. Like, all this stuff. Like, how? where does this come from? What, what do I got to do to prevent this from happening? Because this is taking over, like, this world. Like, everybody has cancer now. And it just does not make sense to me at all. Because everybody is passing away because of it. Like, like, uh, just... It just irks me, bro. It, it really does. I just wish there was a cure because I'm tired of innocent people, even in my family, and not even in my family. Other people that I don't even know, like, are dying because of this stuff. And it, and you don't have a cure, and you don't know what's going on. Like, I understand. Like, I, I don't know either. I don't, I don't got the cure. But like, like, bro, that just really irks me bro it's still in my head now to this day but i know they wouldn't i know my uncle rick would not want me to stop what i'm doing because of you know all this stuff that's happening i know i know he would not want me to stop and i will i know he would want me to keep going no he want, would want me to pursue youtube and make videos and do all this stuff and you know pursue it and be good at it and, and just just be great like but it's just so tough but the next next one divorces in my family like um my mom my mom got divorced and I talked to her about it and she said I could you know say all this but my my mom ended up getting divorced by my stepdad and honestly like this kind of hit me hard I'm not going to lie because my mom and my stepdad like we're 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 always good. Like they was they was always good. Now I would have I would have never thought to this day my stepdad would do would would have done that to my mom because my 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 real dad and my mom got divorced when I was when I was in four third fourth grade right and I was living in Colorado at the time. And then my mom moved to Indy and then um, ended up remarrying another army guy. So my dad was in the army too. So I ended up remarrying another army guy and then move we moved to uh Fort Wayne, Indiana, which my our uh, my like uh my stepdad at the time, he all of his family lived there. So we moved there and I lived there from fifth grade to when I was like 18, 19. And this guy really I mean he raised me like when my dad, you know, couldn't be there because of the army and all that stuff and moving everywhere, he you know, he wasn't there. So like he he pretty much, you know, raised me. Like he was my baseball coach for like five, seven years, five to seven years. Like he did all this stuff, like and, you know, he taught me how to play baseball, like it was just it, it was mind blowing because like I I he so basically he he cheated on my mom and that stuff that stuff hit me hard because i i don't that that cheating stuff is just it's just just don't make sense to me either like why why if you go if you're going to think about cheating on somebody if you're really going to think about cheating on somebody it's like what why why stay with them to put them through that heartbreak do you understand but like like why would you put them through that heartbreak so so they can feel bad like like at that point you got to be a man and be like you know what i don't want to be with you no more because i have feelings for another girl you got to be a man and just and just cut it off at that point so you're not hurting anybody else in that circle like like i'm thinking this dude is cool like everything is good like him and my mom's relationship relationship is good every of course everybody argues like and that's what they was doing they was arguing and stuff but they would get over it and you know move on to the next day but then and then when i was in houston i came back and and they're not together and i'm not knowing why and then i end up finding out he he's cheating on my mom like with a random girl like are you serious bro do you gotta be kidding me bro like my mom does my mom has never done anything like that to you and you want to go around and do that to her 
Are you serious? Like, you gotta, you gotta be a man, bro. You gotta be a man at that point, bro. You gotta cut that off, bro. Why would you even think about doing that? Like, that is such a, that's so lame. That is so lame to me, bro, for, for someone to do that. God, bro, I don't understand people's decisions sometimes. And that's, this is also the reason why I didn't want to talk about this, but I, I, I know I have to talk about this. My dad got into an, another divorce, uh, a divorce too, with, was my stepmom. And honestly, I'm just gonna break it to you like this, short and sweet. Uh, my dad did everything for this lady and she really, she and she really messed it all up. Like she really only wanted him because of his money. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, like she would always buy things and just, just would, would really just do things that you you're not supposed to do. Like, like obvious. It was like obvious things, and she was just always doing it, wasting all, wasting money. You know, doing all these things. And then it was just very unhealthy for my dad because he was doing so much for her and he really was just wasn't getting anything back in return and she was only only there for basically herself and like honestly like I wish my dad never dated this girl. It hurts me that the people that are doing good for you and all that and all positive vibes and every, helping you with your life and just uh, overall just helping you to be a good person and they just go around and just like don't care about it like don't care at all it's just one ear and out the other and just mess it all up and it just and they have it all there and they just this just goes in pieces just because they want to do stupid things that they know they're not supposed to do if you're going to end up doing something to your significant other when you're in a relationship bro just cut it off break up with them it's over with okay take your break something bro i don't i don't know what it is but hurting that person whoever it is girl or guy that's not cool bro so stop like y'all need to stop that like be a man be a grown-up y'all need to be a grown-up grow up so my grandpa um he hasn't been he hasn't been doing too hot either um he had cancer as well but he he actually did fight it off and he went through radiation and all that and it just he like he went through radiation and fought it all off but like you know through the process radiation hits you so hard and everything like that and like this dude beat it he he actually beat cancer so it's just the dude beat cancer and then after that you know he just it took so much of a toll on him like it's like he still has it like because he's hurt now he 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 can't really walk like that like he has to stay in the hospital and all this he comes home for a couple of days and he just feels he like he's he's feeling good he'll start feeling good and then instantly it's just like he's feeling bad feeling bad again it's just it's crazy to me because when you think about oh you beat cancer you think okay you cancer free you good everything's fine now you can get back and get back to your normal life all that but like this man beat cancer went through radiation all the treatments and all that and this man is still feeling bad like are you serious like how and this man has done nothing wrong to this world at all no, that has nothing has did nothing except care and love for anybody in this world bro like he's like anything you could think of bro he he did the good he did the good was never like uh, he was never a bad guy and so it was always positive vibes at all times for this dude and i mean he's still alive but it's just like now he's just it's just slow now he's just like he's just slow movements now and just like he'll start forgetting things and it's just like a year ago he was good he was perfectly fine and then now just out of nowhere a train hits him you know what i'm saying but it's just like these things just don't make sense to me why they happen but i understand everything happens for a reason but it's just some stuff just really doesn't make sense to me but I mean, he's fighting the fight, of course, and he forever fight the fight because that's him. That's that's grandpa, you know, but it's just, I feel like it's always the, the best people in this world that are going down and all the bad people in this world stay, like, they're, they're doing fine, like, nothing's happening to them. Like, why couldn't you give them cancer, you feel me? Like, I know that's bad to say, but why couldn't you just do that to them, you know? 
like why why are you taking out the guy that just does all these good things for people to like just to better everybody and himself he worries about more he worries about people other people than he does himself he'll like it's just it's just tough to, you know, grab. Like it really is tough to grab. And all this all this stuff I'm saying right now is all happening in these months that I'm in Indy. This is all happening at the same time. Not the same exact time, but like throughout this like it's six month span. And like my grandpa is still going through it. Like he can't just go home and chill, bro. He has to have someone always watching him. Because why? What did he do? He didn't do nothing. He did absolutely zero things. To, to even cause these problems and they just come up come upon them and, I, and, and there's no really explanation to it but you know God does everything it, it, everything's for a reason like it just irks me bro and it just I don't have a reason there's no reason to go to but all, all glory to God though I just wish I had a reason for all this stuff because all these people dying and it's just like I'm gonna just move on. But honestly, so it's the last thing. It's the last thing. I'm gonna just cut it off. Um, so I was doing YouTube in Houston the whole time, and then I ended up going back, going back to uh, Andy because uh, really I got in trouble for some stuff, and I had to stay down there for like four months. That really sent me back, and then I went back to Houston, and I came, I came back here. But um. I just wasn't feeling motivated. I, I wasn't feeling motivated at that point. I wasn't feel, I was feeling lazy. I was basically in this little depressed state that I never would have thought I would be in. I was in this depressed state that I never would have thought I would have been in. And I was in it. And so like, I didn't want to do videos no more. So I, no money was flowing through. And so at this point I had to make a decision. And I decided to pick up a job. I ended up doing a little landscaping job that like I had to do people's grass. I was mowing grass, I was weed whacking grass, I was you know, I was doing it for like a good almost a year. And it just I thought about it, I would think about it every single day, like why am I doing this? I'm not supposed to be working right now, I'm supposed to be making videos, but it's just like I was just in this bubble and I couldn't get out of it. Probably a month a month ago, a month ago I get a phone call. And the phone calls from our mom. And our mom's like, hey bro, you know, um, I think it would be a good idea for you to come with us in ATL and live with us in ATL and, uh, you know, get your YouTube career, you know, back going. When I say that was one of the happiest moments of my life for me to get that phone call from him and just to hear him tell me to you know, come on back home basically and, and make these videos and, and get back to it. It really like, it really hit me hard. Like, like, wow, like this man really, he really do like care about me and all this. And it just, it just hit me real hard. And I was just like, you know what, bro? Like you right, bro. I'm not supposed to be here. Why am I working? Like, why am I working right now? Like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be making videos, laughing, having fun, and doing all these things, which, you don't get me wrong, I can do while working, you know, have fun and all that, but it's just like, I'm not, that's not me. Like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. So, when he gave me that phone call, it just felt so good, and I was just like, of course, bro. So, literally, right when he called me, that day, the next morning, I texted my boss, and I said, you know what, I quit. Uh, I'm done. I picked up my last check and I and and our mind ended up picking me up from Indy and I left and uh, Ended up going to Detroit and then we went to ATL so um, and, and I'm here today and I would be making videos you know almost every single day for you guys because You know, I don't I don't want to go back like uh, I should be here making videos for you guys and I left you guys blank for like a year, but I posted barely, and I really left you guys blank, and um, y'all, y'all really didn't deserve that because you guys would always ask me, "Hey, bro, like when you about to make another video? Hey, bro, when you about to go back to Houston? Like, hey, bro, why you leave Houston?" And I just wasn't giving you guys no answers, but uh, hopefully that really answers your, you know, your questions and all that. And you guys are probably like, you know what? Why, why, you know, why is he, why is he saying all these things about his? 
family, you know, passing away and all that. But I just feel like I left you guys in the dirt for so long, not telling you anything about what's going on. And you just really got to, you know, tell people the truth, but not, not too much of it. But it's just like, I feel like I owed you guys this video because I left you guys blank for for at least a year. So I apologize for everybody uh, that felt some type of way uh, about, you know, about me disappearing for like a year. But I, I apologize and I'm back and I'm doing videos and I'm better. So uh, yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.